what's feasible to do when to perform this kind of surgery, what are the risks, and then eventually talk about the guidelines. How do we really perform this kind of surgery? Because this, this is pretty tricky uh, surgery if you have a big uterus, especially if we're talking about the second and third trimester, where you don't have a lot of access and uh, you're at risk of bleeding. And there's a, a, a so it's more, it's more difficult uh, to do this kind of uh, surgery. One in 500 patients would uh, have a non-obstetrical uh, surgery during pregnancy. So that's, that's not a, a very low number. Uh, so basically each hospital, every hospital should be able to uh, deal with these kind of uh, patients. Uh, and, and, and there is a, a right way and a wrong way to do this kind of surgery. So if you enter in an incorrect way and you have a catastrophe, for example, if you hit a blood vessel with a very big uh, uterus and, a, a, and a, you're talking about a, a week where the fetus is non-viable uh, yet, so, or very you know, early uh, viability week, uh, this could be very tricky and uh, risky. Uh, so we've got the, 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 the bleeding that, that is a problem. Uh, we've got the uterine uh, contractions that can uh, occur if you do a lot of you know, uh, moving around of the uterus during a surgery. So you have to try to minimize that. And then there, you've got the, the, the hemodynamic uh, changes because the patient is lying on her back and the big uterus compressing on the, on the big uh, vessels. Um, uh, these patients are at more at risk of uh, hemodynamic instability and this could also affect uh, the fetus uh, eventually. As we know here in this kind of conference, laparoscopy has many advantages over laparotomy in general. But when we talk about uh, advantages in, uh, in referral to the pregnant uh, patients, so one of the most important things is early ambulation because these patients are uh, in a hypercoagulable state. They're more likely to have DVT and uh, PE. So you need them up and running as much as soon as uh, possible. Uh, other than that, uh, Laparoscopy tends to uh, be better in terms of handling of the uterus. So if you have a very good uh, field of view, uh, you don't have to move the uterus uh, so much uh, around to do the surgery. Uh, other things are the better uh, scar healing, which is important because uh, pregnant patients are somewhat in an immunocompromised uh, uh, situation and they have more tension on the scar. So the smaller the scar, the better. And the, other, the last thing is in terms of uh, analgesics, uh, basically this kind of surgery uh, usually requires less analgesics, which could be better in, in terms of the, the fetus. So SAGES have the most comprehensive uh, guideline. There's not much information about this kind of uh, uh, surgery. Uh, but they, the, some of the major points that they make there is, first of all, that you can perform this kind of surgery in any week of uh, pregnancies. And there have been reports uh, of up to 34 weeks of pregnancy, which is a pretty big uterus still uh, that uh, laparoscopy is uh, feasible. And uh, there was an old, uh, older misconception that surgery has to be done on the second uh, trimester only, because first trimester would increase the risk of miscarriage, and third trimester, uh, uh, would, uh, you, you're better off waiting for delivery and then doing the laparoscopy. But, but they actually contradict that. They, they show that um, laparoscopy, if you postpone surgery for this uh, reason, you m might be mo doing much more damage to the mother and to the, the fetus. So that's, that's an important point that they make there. Other than that, um, they, and the guidelines basically uh, tell you uh, how to perform a surgery in a better way, including another important uh, point, which is having the patient and, uh, and, uh, tilted to the left because to uh, decrease compression of the, the vena cava by tilting the uterus to the left, uh, which is uh, significant. Uh, other than that, uh, entry points, entry methods, uh, how to monitor the mother and the fetus during surgery. So, you know, it's important uh, to, to know these points before you go into uh, surgery.